Vet Code Agent webinar. I'm Catherine Rain, your moderator from Miami, Florida. And I have here with us Curtis, who is the founder of AM Cards and the author of the Appreciation Marketing book. Hey, Curtis. Hello. Thank you so much for having us on. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. So um, today we're going to go over something really amazing, and I'm really excited about the content and to learn from you. So today we're going to talk about holiday cards and birthday cards, how to automate it, because we don't want to handwrite 300 cards to our clients. And you're going to take all this work off of our hands and help us make everything smooth. So let's get going. Yeah, you know, it would be good to dive right into it because I know a lot of people are going to watch this on the replay as well. So I don't want to take forever to, to dive right into the content. But um, yeah, we want to make a simple and easy system for a busy business professional to get in and out and to be able to send cards, whether it's one thank you card to a client or a friend and then or maybe automate some birthday home anniversary cards. And obviously right now we're right around the corner from the holidays. November is, is here uh, next Monday already. Um, and so as, as we're talking live right now, and you know, the, a lot of people are scheduling their holiday cards. They're reaching out to us and, and asking questions. And so what I thought I'd do right now is just kind of just quickly show how simple and easy it is to upload a list into our system, to create a template, click send and send out whether you want to send 10 or 10,000 cards, we can do it very inexpensively and also um, very, it saves a lot of time. So I thought I'd dive right in right now, then I'll let you guys answer some or ask some questions, and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about the automation side. So I'll share my screen. And so this is the cool thing on the inside of, of AM cards, you do have the ability to grab your iPad or a tablet, and you can just click new signature and then quickly sign your name and have your signatures right inside the system instantly. We even have some people that use like Remarkable or something that has a really nice writing service. They export it as a uh, an image and then they can put it right inside the card and it looks really, really good. I absolutely love that because I just got a Remarkable. Like, Did you really? So I have it. So cool. oh, I hear so many good, so much good things about that. We just had a Actually, she works with uh, Keller Williams. She's the regional tech director in the Northeast. Her name is Brooke Silva. She runs, she's kind of over 6,500 agents up there. She uses AM cards and promotes it all the way all up there. And she has a remarkable, and she's like, Curtis, take a look how cool this is. So she wrote a message and then uploaded it inside a card. And it really looked like the nice handwriting. But, you know, what I found is about 25 to 30% of the people, like when I, when I go to a room full of people, I'm doing a keynote and I say, hey, raise your hand if you don't like your if you don't like your handwriting, and that's one of the main reasons why you don't send cards and about 25 to 30% of the room. So we offer a solution for that as well. So inside of our system, so how cool is this? So yes, you can do as many signatures as you want. So if you want your spouse, you want your kids to write their name, um, you know, you want to upload a, a paw print for your cat or your dog and put that in the inside. We have people do some really cool creative things. And then of course your business partners or um, employees and, and whatnot, if you want all their signatures inside the card, you can do that too. So now let's, let, I want to show you um, how simple and easy it is to create a card. So we have here all different types of cards. I'm going to go in. We just uh, uploaded a whole bunch of Thanksgiving cards. So let's say I, I choose this Thanksgiving card and I want to send this card out. So on the inside, I might want to upload a picture. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just uh, bear with me just one second. Okay, I'm going to log into this account. Oh. Got an L. And R. There we go. I must have spelled my name wrong. <laughs> All right. So in here, I'm going to choose a card. Let's say I'll choose this card right here. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the inside. That's the front. This is the inside top. So if you want to customize it, we have some people that use like uh, Canva or whatever and um, like outside and or you can just bring pictures in, keep it fairly simple. Um, you can add a message right here. So what's also nice is that you can insert first name. So whatever's in the first name field will automatically drop in here. You can change the color. 
And just sharing, I mean, we also have a, a short little video that's in our um, help video section that's going to go over exactly what I'm doing right now as well. So I type up a little message here. That's our default font. And of course, if you wanted to, you know, draw your message, you could draw your message as well. I'm going to add my signature to the inside. And then on something like this, I probably add my all my family's signature. And on the back of the card, check this out. You can erase our logo and you can put your own branding on the back. And we have all different types of branding. Um, we also have, um, see, I'm going to go to, we actually helped out Barry Jenkins with his branding. And this is what his looks like, just to kind of show you oh, nice. um, what the possibilities are. And we do have a, a done for you solution too, that I'll go over in just a little bit. So I'm going to, on our website, we have a $295 one-time investment and it comes with all kinds of goodies in there with done for you solutions and stuff. On this webinar today, I'm gonna to give um, you guys all the opportunity to get started if you wish with no contracts, no commitments, membership only, and we bonus you 20 cards a month. It's, 30, it's a whopping $39 a month and we put 20 cards a month into your system. They roll over for an entire year. I'll go over that in just a little bit. Um, but this right here, just to show you what the is possible for our design team to help put together for you. We also have some gifts. I'm not going to go over that right now. I'll go over that in just a little bit. Um, but now, now that I got the card done, okay, there's the front, there's the inside, there's my message, got my branding on the back, and then I'm going to save this and I'll put Thanksgiving, let's say 2021. Okay. Now here's what's cool too. So now I got the template already done. It's saved. It's now saved in cards under my templates and it's saved right here. Thanksgiving, 2021. Now what I want to show you how simple it is, is I can go into contacts and I'm going to go ahead and contacts and I'm going to add a group and I'm going to say Thanksgiving, 2021. Now I'm going to bring, I'm going to import a list. So if you have a CSV file or an Excel file, you can import a list. So I just hit choose file and I'm going to go find that um, file. Let's see. I think I have one that says uh, Thanksgiving 2021. Happy Thanksgiving list. There it is. So it's a CSV file. Now over here, we make it really simple to map this out. So we have a full name if you have that, or you can do first name. So I'll do first name, last name, you can do company name and organization if there is one. And then there's address line one. If you have the entire address on one line, you can put the complete address in here and we'll break it apart for you. But if you have, you know, let's say the address, it's easier if you have address, city, state, zip. Okay. And then of course, if you have birthdays, if you have, um, anniversaries, like a home anniversary, you can put that in here as well, if a birthday anniversary. So that way, if you have it in the system, you have a card, you can automatically trigger cards to go out too. So there we go. It's going to map them all here. And then once it's done mapping, we can bring them, we'll bring them right into AM cards. Now, if there is an address that doesn't have a complete, doesn't have a name, or it's missing some information, it'll come up red. So it'll give you the ability to either bring it in or not. And I'm going to go import it into a specific group that I just created called Thanksgiving 2021. See this? I drop this arrow down. And I'm going to import it into this specific group and hit import checked. This may take a minute. So I hit OK. And while that's um, uploading, I'll just kind of share just a couple of things. So one of the things that we wanted to do was when wanted to make sure that it was as personal as possible. And so you do have the ability to upload your own um, images. One of the things I wanted to make sure that you could do also is remove our branding, put your own on there as well on the back, which makes it really simple and easy to do. And our programming team is phenomenal when it comes to making sure that this is easy. And we have an awesome customer support team too. So now we have all the contacts in here, see? So we have 152 contacts. Now I'm just going to select all these contacts. Watch how simple this is. I have that. I think we can select 50 at a time. All right. And then all 152 are now selected. And I'm just going to send the template by clicking more and send a template. 
and now I'm going to go. There's the template that's that I called that I remember I saved it as Thanksgiving 2021. This is the list of 152 people that it's going to. And then I just go down here and I say, okay, what do I want my return address to be? So you can change the return address from your office to your house, whatever you want. What, what do you want for the first and last name? And it says right here, so 152 cards is $304, which is $2 a card. And that's including the first class stamp, which is 58 cents. And if I hit send, yes, all of those cards will be in the mail tomorrow. Unless, of course, unless you wanted to schedule it. So, and then you would say, you know what? It's only October 29th. And I really want this since Thanksgiving is the 25th. Let's go ahead and send it on the 15th. So you can schedule it to have it go out on whatever day that you want. So we have some people right now creating their um, happy holidays. We even had somebody the other day say, I want uh, Thanksgiving and I want a, ha a happy new year card to go out. So they'll do happy new year and happy Thanksgiving. And both of those cards will be um, scheduled to, to go out in the future. So pretty simple, huh? Really awesome. I have to jump on this. Yeah. And then, and then so I did see a, a chat that said, um, you know, is, are they, the, envelopes handwritten too and the answer is yes the answer the 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 same font that was in the inside of that card is our default font on the envelopes we had to get it passed by the usps to make sure that it was one of the, an approved font and we were very lucky to be able to have um, them approve this because sometimes when it gets too handwritten they won't approve it for us to be able to send it out like commercially now if you just grab a card and you handwrite it you know, it, you can you can send it, but um, when you're sending the the amount that we're sending, we had to get it specially approved. And the cardstock that we use is over a hundred. It's actually a hundred and ten pound cover, which is a very high quality, really nice cardstock. And so, for the first four years that we were in business, we actually hand stuffed all of the cards and the envelopes because we couldn't find inserters that would flawlessly put them in without damaging the product and we finally found that about a year and a half ago and uh so now that is a lot smoother so i'm just sharing with you some of the details on the back end yeah and we have a state-of-the-art printing press on the we last year when covid hit i still went forward with it and i it was the first one that they sold Konica minolta in the entire southeast from georgia to florida alabama mississippi all the south east and we we're the first one to get this um state-of-the-art printing press so the quality is second to none and it, we're really really proud of the product that we put out and for two dollars a card you can't even go to the you can't even go to the grocery store or cvs or walgreens and get a card and then of course it's not customized like the way that you would like it and then you still have to take the time to do it all yeah. so and you say, so it's $2, no matter if you print a picture on it, or I mean, the gifts obviously are extra, but if you add a picture to it, is it going to be the same price? Same price. Yep. Wow. Same price, whether you just pick one of the cards or you completely customize the front, the inside and the back and do everything. Um, the only additional is if you send it international or if you want to add a gift card. So like we also have gourmet fudge brownies that you can mail with a card, which are absolutely delicious. We also have um we also have uh like gift cards like starbucks and dunkin donuts we have gourmet cookies that you can send out as well so we have a bunch of different little gifts um that are in our system that you can send awesome thank you for yeah. that it would yeah. also be great for you know when you have a transaction going on and the client passes the inspection period or the appraisal to send them little goodies along the way during the transaction yeah. And if any of you guys are on this and watching this and you guys happen to use follow up boss as your CRM, reach out to us personally because we have some pretty cool things. We actually have an embedded app inside of the follow up boss that allows you to send them from the follow up boss, pass through the API and send the cards. We also can do triggers with Zapier. So there are certain uh, CRMs that we connect with with Zapier. So let's say that you just sold a home, you change the stage to closed it would automatically trigger a thank you card, a birthday card, a happy home anniversary card. All of that kind of stuff could be automated. Um, so it's automatically going out. Yeah. Awesome.
Yeah. And, and as far as, and you know, but on the AM card side, yeah, I'll show you this too. And, and I did see a, a question come in saying, Hey, can we take advantage of this offer if we have to hop off early in the it's AM cards, 39.com. So if you go to AM cards, AM is for appreciation marketing, AM cards, 39.com. This is a, a separate link that I put on. It goes to a site that, that is actually not on our website and it bypasses the $295 um, done for you package that we have. Some people want to have us put together the templates for them, uh, the post sale template, do their branding for them and set it all up and do all that stuff and then do an execution Zoom. A lot of people want that because they're spending so many plates and they want to do this. They just don't, they just know they're not going to get around to it. So they pay the $295 and we do it for them. And then the $39 is more kind of the toe in the water. So if you guys would like to test it out, um, to send your holiday cards is super simple and easy. You don't necessarily, you don't necessarily need the 295 to be able to send your holiday cards and the $39 a month, it, we, we bonus you 20 cards a month. Yeah. And then they roll over for an entire year. And that's where you could set up at amcards39.com. You can set up with just the $39 membership. We'll put $40 in credits right away into your account. And then you can log in and have some fun, put your signatures in there, create some templates and upload your contacts. And of course, reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, we have one question here from the audience is what, what is the size of the cards? Do you have any that you can show us? Uh, yeah, I think I do actually. Let me see where it is. Let me grab one. Here's one that's, um, it's a five by seven card. Um, and so if you're gonna make any images, make them five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, we cut down to five by seven. So we print full bleed. So if you're gonna make them in Canva, if you're gonna make them, you can make them, just make sure that there's no text um, too close to the border. So there's that little bit of variance when we're cutting down the cards. So yeah, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, we cut down to, five by seven or seven by five, depending if it's a vertical card or it's a horizontal card. Okay. Yeah. Great. And then while we're, while we're on this, I'll, I'll dive in. I want to show you also what's kind of cool too, because we have this, we, we talk to so many people, like um, especially in the real estate profession that they're going about their business. They're, they're, they're closing their next sale. They're doing all this stuff. And then it's easy to forget about your past customers. And and it's easy to say, okay, I'll just upload a list and send a holiday card. What about making sure that they get a home anniversary card, making sure that they get a birthday card, making sure that they get a card, just checking in, seeing how they're doing. Or what if you have a, an approved vendor list that you have that, whether it's a painter and a plumber and an electrician and a, and, and a roofer, all these people that you know that you trust that to refer them. It adds so much value to your customers. Maybe you can put that in a card or put it into a QR code where they scan it and download a PDF that you put together. So you can make these cards interactive. If you have a message for them, want to sing them happy birthday, or if you want to take a QR code and send them to your review site. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this. And I'm going to share a couple of other tips because I know we have some time to do that. Um, but inside of our system, we do have the ability for you to put together drip campaigns, which are really, really cool. This is one of my favorite features that we have. And so here's like a post sale um, buyer. Like, um, so if in here, I put a thank you, there's an anniversary. So if you wanted to create a, let's just go ahead and start it and do um, one from the very beginning. So let's say I wanted to create a campaign that says, post closing drip. Now I continue. And then here's the drip name. Here's the first card that you're going to send. Maybe it's a thank you. And let's say that you create a template that says, really appreciate your business. Thank you so much. It means the world to us that you trusted us in this process. And maybe it says, if, if you haven't had a chance to do a review yet, it would mean the world to me. If you did just scan this QR code or go to this link and then you can encourage them to do a, um, a review for you. So I just put the thank you um, card in there. And let's see here. I'm sure that I have something in here that says, okay, here's thank you. Here's a thank you card. 
And now I want this card to go out immediately. So zero days after the campaign. So this means it's immediate right away. You can also set it as a specific date, a birthday or anniversary. So I'll go to the birthday in just a minute. So this would be the first drip. What's also nice is this. Would you like a text message reminder? So let's say that five days after this card is sent, I'm going to get a text message saying that this card was sent five days ago. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. So if you want to follow up, oh, wow. make, a, make a quick phone call, you can do that. And it will tell you in the text what, what card it was that was, that, that, um, was sent five days ago. So I'm going to save this drip. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm going to do is create another drip and say, okay, let's do this one says birthday. Year one. Because just maybe you want to do a birthday that happens to be, okay, let's do a birthday right here. And I'm going to say campaign is sent for the birthday. But this is going to be five, let's do six days before the birthday. So automatically, let's say it goes, their birthday falls on a Monday. I want to make sure that's included in the weekends, make sure they get it before their birthday. Five or six days is good. And then I save it. Well. I can also put a message in here as well, um, days after to be able to follow up with them. And let's create another drip that says home anniversary. Now you also, what's really neat about this too, the home anniversary card would be triggered what? 350 days after the first card. So you close on a home, they immediately get a thank you card and then 300 and um, you know, 50 days later, they're gonna get an anniversary card. I'll just choose this one right here just so you guys get the idea. And I'm gonna make sure that I get a reminder five days after, and then that way I can call and wish them, uh, just call them as well. They'll get the card and I can also call them to wish them a happy home anniversary as well. And you can add to this. So actually the home anniversary, I didn't do this correctly because what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do 350 days after the campaign is sent to make sure that that card falls. Actually, why 350? I'm going to do 360. Let's do 360 because then it's going to come right around the same time as I sold their house. So as you, you can build out as many cards as you want. So maybe I want a birthday card that is year that set off date as well. So they get another birthday card year two. And if you have any questions on, on any of this kind of stuff, you can always reach out to our, um, our customer service team as well. But then triggering this, okay, so I built this post-closing drip. Here's what's also really neat. And you'll find this in our help videos too. Let's say I create a group right here and it says post-sale drip mm -hmm. for a buyer. You can go into this group um, let's see, let me just, let me just do it from scratch. So you guys can see it. I'm just going to put post closing. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people will come back to this and watch the replay as well. So here's what I'm going to just do post closing. Okay. Okay. So now I'm in the post closing group. I can go into group settings mm -hmm. and I can add what we call an automagic campaign or an automagic card. What that means, Catherine, is that you can actually add a contact to this group and it will automatically trigger that campaign. Oh, that's cool. So watch this. I can go into the campaign. I'm going to title it. Um, post closing. And I'm going to find the card that says uh, post closing trip. Mm -hmm. And then I attach that campaign to this. So now I hit save. Now watch this. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add a contact. So you can import an entire list if you want into a group. And it automatically will trigger that campaign to everybody in that list. That's awesome. Or I can add a new contact. Let's say if I just added me here. Curtis. Watch this. Okay. So I'm going to put a birthday in here. 
and this is the date we closed on our offices. Let's say somebody put mine in here and they put June 1st, which is the date that we closed on our office buildings. And I click save. Now watch this. That contact right. was now saved in post-closing. Actually, I'm sorry. You'll see this again. So I'm going to go back into contacts. There's 185 Middle Street. There's June, June. All I needed to do here was just select this right here. Post closing. Uh, automatic. Yes. And I didn't, I didn't check that box. So therefore it didn't add it to that group as well. But if I save this, now watch what happens. I'm going to go into my history and you'll see three cards that are automatically scheduled to go out for Curtis. Happy birthday, a thank you card, everything right in there, huh? Isn't that now cool? We, now we all know where you live. Yeah, that's my office address. <laughs> I can give you my I can give you my home address. <laughs> so yes, and then I just cancel those cards so you can see. But that building out a drip campaign is not very difficult. Um, it's a lot of fun to do, and you can do it for multiple different scenarios. Like I'll give you an example. We have um I have, I landed a $650,000 for sale by owner 10 days after passing my Florida state real estate exam. Wow. With those and cards. it was really cool to do because the card that I sent, let me see, I might be able to pull it up here. You know, um, I, I've seen you on stage speak about this before. Didn't have you really off the house, like with you in front of the house or something like that? Yes, yes. I actually I took a I took a snapshot of it. There mm -hmm. it is right here. Yep. So I took this picture. It was in my sister's community. Um, I knocked on the door first and found out that the owner didn't live there. It was a tenant. And so I took a picture from the from the road. I put sold across it, went on their appraisers, found where the, the owner lived, sent a car to him. And all I said was, I, I know what it's going to take to sell your home. Let's have a conversation sent the card he texted me and i listed this property a few days after and that was right after i got my license i was like this is so much fun and so what i started doing was doing this to a whole bunch of fizzbos and i picked three other ones up as well in one month and what i was doing was i was kind of dripping on them i sent them the first card and then this was the second card that i sent it said uh -huh. um 14 and this is okay, this is it. We sign up those yeah things. these are in our system so you guys can, you have access to all of these cards, like 14 uh, safety tips, every for sale by owner needs to read. Like, for instance, people might not think like, uh, you know, don't park your car in the driveway because they could box you in, leave the back door open in case you have to escape. Never have the kids in there when you show your home. If somebody knocks on your door, do not show it to them, set an appointment, get their name, their phone number, their email address. So you know, who's coming inside your house and just all these different things we, that for sale by owner might not realize the liability. I picked up a listing because the wife read this and she came back from the grocery store one time and the husband was showing a guy a house. The two kids were in the house. And he thought it was cool because he had a for sale by owner. Somebody knocked on his door. I'd like to see it. Yeah, they just let him in. And then it wasn't, but not even a week later that I sent this card and they called me and they yeah, said it was because of this card that I earned the listing. A really dangerous situation without even knowing it, right? Exactly. And I didn't, I didn't like, I mean, I was very, I was a rookie, so I didn't really know that much. I just, I did some research. I put together this card and, and sent it on out. Now we also have this, that's kind of, cool too. 65 ways to help your home sell faster. And the seller might not think polishing the door handles or, you know, painting the mailbox. And so we have all of this is the inside of the card. It's all in there. So by doing that, um, we could like, let's say somebody comes to an open house and you want to add value because they said, I'm looking to sell my home in six months. Well, instead of just calling them, texting them every single month, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready. How you doing? Why don't you drip on them, send some cards and then follow up after the fact. So you can send stuff like this. Um, here's an example of a home anniversary card, a thanks a latte card. You know, we have, um, I had a guy in Louisiana send out this card to 150 people in his database. And what does it mean? I shit to not. I shit to not. That's a shih tzu dog. I know, that, but what does it mean? I should. 
it's kind of like I almost like a swear word. I shit you not. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, okay. and so it's just kind of a play on words. And he sent it out. It got a lot of response and people were texting him. People posted this card on Facebook and Instagram saying, this is hilarious. Thank you. It just, at the end of the day, it just started up more conversations and those conversations led to opportunities, which led to end up closed business. He had seven contracts in, uh, in within 30 days of sending this card out. So wow. just an, I just an idea. Yeah, I'll go over the pricing real quick. Mm -hmm. So this right here, um, cause I know that people are, need to hop off. We do have a 259, $295 done for you, um, system that we put together for you. We do have the ability to waive that with that website that I just shared earlier, amcards39.com, but included is wholesale pricing, $2 a card. We're going to bonus 20 cards a month. So we'll put $40 in credits in your account. So that's 20 cards. Credits roll over for an entire year. So if you don't use them all for a few months, they might roll over. You can, you have extra credits used for the holidays. For the Christmas cards. Exactly. <laughs> and you can use your credits to send the brownies. There's no contracts, there's no commitments. And with the website that I shared with you, you can get started with only $39 and, um, and get started with that too. But I love it. Yeah, it's, there's, there's so much, there's so much fun. There's so many different things that you can do with our system. And I share with you Fizbo's and expires. I definitely wanted to show you that drip campaign because mm -hmm. the birthdays, the anniversaries, you take a little time to set it up. Or if you're not, don't really want to take the time and you want us to do it, we'll do it for you. Connect it to your account for the $295. And even if you sign up for the 39 and decide you want that later, we'll take care of you and help you out. That's what we offer on our website. It adds the most value. And, but the holiday cards, I mean, we're about ready to get, I just signed the contract. I was telling Jake uh, earlier, just, we just got some new machinery that's coming in next week and the week after to, get ready for this uh, big holiday season. Now I'm just crossing my fingers, making sure that there's no delays on some of the raw materials that we use the paper. We have the brownies have been being shorted. It's, it's been crazy out there. <laughs> well, if anything, you'll have to start baking. No, right. I, th I thought Whatever about it that. Takes. We, we, <laughs> we, we, we almost started doing that about a year ago. It's so funny you say that, mm -hmm. but you know, well, um, well, we have a little bit more time. I'll just share a couple of other ideas that you might want to use with um, AM cards. Mm -hmm. The automation is nice because you're making sure you're not forgetting people's birthdays, anniversaries, important dates, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel that the most powerful cards that you can possibly send is that one-off card that comes from the heart that you're um, either celebrating a life event of theirs for instance, let's say you just see on Facebook or Instagram that one of your past clients just had their first grandbaby. Mm -hmm. Take the picture, throw it on the card and congratulate them. That card will never be thrown away. It will probably end up being put in a baby's book or put in a picture frame and they will remember you and they will think that that's the coolest thing ever. And you're not Catherine, the realtor anymore. You're Catherine, my realtor, even if you've never actually worked with them in the past yeah. and doing this type of stuff consistently over time. And when I do my trainings and do my keynotes and stuff, one of the, one of my main focuses, I tell people to go into their calendar and carve out 20 to 30 minutes over the next seven days and put it in their appreciation marketing, that time block appreciation marketing going forward. And it might be Tuesday morning at eight o'clock in the morning, whatever it may be. And you say, what am I going to do in that time that I'm blocking off? If you don't have something that you plan to do in that time, something else will obviously fill that gap. So what I tell you to do is as you're scrolling through Instagram and Facebook throughout the day, throughout the week, just screenshot a life event that's card worthy and email it to yourself. Mm -hmm. And then when you're sitting there, you can go to your email and you can pull it up. You can edit that photo, bring it into AM cards, type a little message and then send it off. And you might have five, six, seven of those to do in that time period. Those are such high impact cards. Like I was just, I just got back a little bit ago from a, a huge event and these, this, uh, this company actually in the automotive industry and 
the guy that that runs the whole show, um, big deal, and he's and he's a national um, executive with this company, and it's pretty big to do. Well, he was really excited about this event that was going on today. It was a customer appreciation event, and he was he invited some vendors as well. Well, his mother just passed away two days ago, and clearly he wasn't there. He was with his family. So one of the, what I do as soon as I heard that, I hopped on AM cards. I made sure that I created a nice uh, sympathy card for him uh, from me and my business partner and sent it on off. And I know that that will touch him. And those are the types of things that you can't, you, otherwise, would you actually do it? You might send him an email, you might send him a text message, give him a call or something like that. But you, you always have great intentions to do this. Most people don't because they don't have a system to do it. And you can also have, a, if you have a VA or an assistant, you can train them to do it. And then you just tell them, listen, do this. Like, that's what I do with my VA. I always send her screenshots and to do things. The other day, um, we sent a client, um, they passed the inspection. So that was actually really nice. Uh, um, you know, when you work with clients and it's always stressful and then you have this one cute couple that warms your heart, it's just amazing. So it was this older couple, they're 80 years old, they're buying an oceanfront property with me and they're coming to the inspection with two beach chairs and they're sitting in these beach chairs because they can't stand that long and overlooking the ocean. And I took a picture of them because they were so cute. And then I send them a card with brownies and saying congratulations on passing the inspection. I can't wait for you to start um, your journey, the oceanfront journey, something like that. And they were so happy and they will be you're the best realtor ever that we ever had just because of that card. And it was, uh, it was just amazing, you know? Moments. Yeah, those that, that's that's magical. And for you to actually, you know, to do it, that, that's, that's special in itself. And especially, like you said, if you have a VA and you mm -hmm. can snap a picture and text that picture on over or email it on over. Um, one of the things that I have um, many clients that, that do is that they'll, they'll go to a, like a listing appointment or something like that. They'll take a picture from the driveway and text it to their assistant. They'll already have a listing appointment follow-up card in their system that's already done. They just swap off the picture. Yeah, of the house. Awesome. So every listing, they have a different yeah. picture, obviously on the front and it goes on out and, um, or uh, it puts on the inside top and another one says it was um, nice to meet you or thank you for your time. Something like that. Awesome. Really cool. Yeah. There's so much cool opportunities. Any other questions that came in through the chat before we wrap up? I don't think there was any others. No. Okay. Um, so what do I get with the 39 versus the full 295? Okay, so the $39 a month is the membership. And it, we the $39 a month comes, it, it's included in the first month membership of the 295. So on amcards.com, you'll see that. And you can purchase the 295 and we automate an email with a branding form that you fill out. You put your headshot in, you put all the information that you want us, our designers to be able to create a nice custom back of your card, both vertical and horizontal. And then we're going to upload that into your system. So all of your cards are taken care of uh, branded wise. Then we're going to create a five card post sale drip campaign, upload it into your system, create that drip, attach it to a group, all the different things that I showed you today, then do an execution zoom call with you and give you some other tips and tricks of how to use AM cards to you know, earn more referrals, win more business and retain more customers. That's really what we're all about. And the more that you use this, I think the more that you're going to realize how amazing tool it really is, whether you have a niece in another state that needs an Amazon gift card for a birthday present, click, click, click done. And, and you, you send off the card with a little gift. It just, it's nice to be able to have it both personal and professional. Yeah. Awesome. So let me see if there's anything else. And on the website, amcards.com, you can take a look at what's available for the 295. You can also book a demo on our website as well. Um, so one of our team members will hop on and answer some more questions one-on-one -on -one if you have that. Um, but the most of the, you'll see that it's so user-friendly that there's a good chance you probably won't even be talking to our team and you'll be sending out cards. I think, um, let me see if, if another question came in. I think that's it. No more questions. Anybody? Yeah, I, want, I wanted to wrap it up in 45 chance? minutes. So that uh, looks like we did it. Uh, last chance for questions. Nope. Okay. Well, 
Curtis, thank you so much for all this information. I think we're going to have a lot of people that are interested. And if you have any more questions, how can people reach you um, through the website? What's the best way to reach you? Yes, um, through amcards.com. And you can also, uh, our email address is wecare at amcards.com. You can email us directly and be happy to assist you in any way that we possibly can. And you can go to amcards.com, learn a little bit more. You can book a demo or you can just sign right up. If you want to bypass the 295 and just get started with just the membership, it's a lab code agent special that I'm doing. And that's it's amcards39.com. And that way you can at least get it started and, and see how it works for you before maybe you upgrade down the road. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you everyone for tuning in and you make it a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Take care, Catherine. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.